So today we're going to be talking about blending um, pattern pit pattern blending sizes to get the perfect fit for your child. Um, the technique that I'm going to show you doesn't use a length and shorten line, uh, which is quite good for patterns that have got multiple pattern pieces that need to be pieced together to make the big pattern piece, such as in my Alfie sweatpants. Uh, so if you come over here, uh, what I've done is I've used the layers function just to print out the two sizes that we'll be working with. Um, my child is a size three three width and a size five height. So the first line here is size three and the second line is size five. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the corners on our pattern where we're going to be um, extending the pattern pieces. So I've got the two down the bottom and then I've got the two corners up the top. You'll notice that the crutch point doesn't need to be changed because it's exactly in line with, um, it's nested so that it's in line with the size five piece. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our ruler um, and we're going to draw straight down until our line um, meets the size five. So I'm going from size three, which is my width, down to size five, which is my height. I'm going to do that on all of the corners so we're drawing at right angles um, so you just uh, with the top has got an angled line but that's okay we just go straight at 90 degrees um, straight up from here we don't worry about them being on an angle and then it's uh, if we were to on this line here um, simply cut straight down it's not going to give us such it's going to be a bit um, unusual and skinny through the ankle so what we're going to do is we're going to even out this curve here a little bit so just start where it makes sense to you but where we're going to end up is we're going to end up at that same corner so we're blending out the line along this side um, on your side seam of the leg it's pretty straight so I wouldn't worry about um, needing to even out that side there uh, and same with up here uh, possibly on this corner we want to just even out that line a little bit whereas on this other corner it's pretty much a straight line so we don't need to worry so much and then we've got our patterns blended so I'm just going to cut that out um, to show you uh, what our end pattern piece is going to look like. So I use a rotary cutter because I find it a lot easier to cut. I'm sticking to my size 5 line along the bottom. I'm going straight along this line that we drew from size 3 to size 5 on the side seam. We're heading right up to the top corner. And again this side, this end was pretty straight so we stuck to it. I cut along the size five, size 5 line here at the waist seam. I'm going to follow the little blended line that I did at the top corner here. Then I'm following my size 3 along the crutch curve. On the inseam I'm following my size 3 line again until I reach this point here where we evened out that um, side seam so we didn't get a funny little kick at the bottom and right down to the bottom and there we go our perfectly blended uh, back size three five piece if you were going if your child was the other way around so they were a five size five width and a size three um, length you would just do the same thing in reverse um, I hope that helps see ya